So why do I shoot boudoir? Hello, my name is Mike Lloyd. I am a professional photographer in Silicon Valley, California, and for the last seven years, it's 2022, I have specialized in boudoir photography. I did not intend to ever get into this genre. In fact, I wanted to be so far away from anyone who called themselves a boudoir photographer. I just photographed on families and kids and couples. And because back in 2010, boudoir didn't have the reputation that it has now. And there were just too many dudes out there with cameras being creepers, wanting to take pictures of girls in their underwear. Uh, not cool. Don't support that. I got another video on this channel about how to create a safe environment for your clients if you are a photographer looking for that. So be sure to check that out. But I did not want to do that. I didn't want to be associated with that. I had friends who were models. They were super creeped out by these terrible, terrible people. And I just didn't want to be associated with that at all. So uh, I shot the other genres instead. Part of the fun, creative things that I would do would photograph Cirque du Soleil performers, cabaret singers, professional dancers, athletes, all kinds of different cool performers. And that was one of the creative outlets that I had. Uh, I did, you know, some were commercial gigs, you, you know, movie posters, magazine covers, things like that. And a lot of it was just for funsies also. And through the burlesque community. So I used to photograph a ton of burlesque dancers to sell posters. Like we'd make the posters for the shows. I got in touch with a dominatrix. Uh, well, let me rephrase that. A dominatrix got in touch with moi and asked if I would do branding photos for her business because I'd photographed her burlesque friends. It seemed like a reasonable fit. And I'm like, well, I guess so. Like I've never really done that kind of thing before, but I don't do anything very sexual, nothing explicit. So as long as you're cool with that, I'm cool with that. So we did, we met up and we did this photo shoot and it was the first time I did my dark dramatic lighting for a client and it was so much fun. And the photos were stunning. I still use them in my portfolio today, despite it being my first shoot like this. And I'm just so grateful that I had that opportunity. And from there, a couple of her friends wanted shoots then and then it just grew and grew and grew. And soon I started working with corset makers and lingerie shops and um, hair salons and all kinds of different organizations that catered to my client, which I didn't realize for years, but eventually found out it's not even about the photos. It's not about being sexy. It's about being confident and feeling good in your skin and feeling worthy of love and feeling good enough. And over and over again, I was hearing that from my clients that they would come in nervous about doing the photo shoots and they would leave here feeling like a freaking rock star. And before they'd even seen the photos, they're referring their friends to book sessions, which like it blew my mind. But that was the moment that I realized this isn't even about the photos. The photos are a souvenir from the experience. And the way that we help our clients feel in my studio is really what they're in for. And that's what I said. It's the, the confidence, the loving yourself, feeling good in your skin, feeling worthy, feeling desirable. Uh, and we do that through these photo shoots. Some of the things that differentiate me in particular, because I never really liked the traditional boudoir look, I wanted to shoot it my own way. So everything I do, super dark and moody, like old Hollywood style lighting, I love it. I want everyone to look like they're being lit by the moon coming through a window. That is my signature style. And I get to travel the country and teach photography students all over the world through my online courses, speaking at conferences. I get to help other photographers learn to do what I do as well, which is pretty, pretty cool. But once, once I realized how I was impacting my clients' lives and changing the way that they feel, I couldn't see myself doing anything else. And I wanted to expand this. So I started doing shoots where we, you know, specify that you don't have to wear lingerie. You can be fully clothed after a handful of clients started asking about it. So I changed the marketing on my website. I changed the verbiage that I use. Uh, even tested not using the word boudoir for a while, but it's still a very recognizable term, which is probably how you found me here. So that's kind of been my evolution through the boudoir world from wanting to not be associated with creepers to now on this mission to empower women and feel good about themselves. I also launched a nonprofit this year, just waiting for that final paperwork to come in. I'm building a scholarship program to provide entrepreneurship training for young girls out of high school instead of going to college because I don't believe that college is the best way to learn how to be an entrepreneur. And 
I want to provide these young women with opportunities that they're not going to get elsewhere. So this thing has gotten so much bigger than taking sexy photos. I'm stoked that you're here hanging out with me in this video, and I'm excited to see where we're going to go next. So if you would love to learn more about how I do what I do as a photographer, you can head to boudoirguild.com. Got that linked below. And if you're curious about being in front of my camera and having your own empowering photo shoot, I would love to chat with you more about that. I also got a link down below. MikeLloydStudios.com. You are amazing. We'll see you inside.